Path experts, welcome to the UiPath.learner channel. Thank you very much for subscribe my channel. Today we will see about the small tip. So let us see how we can display a table or format data. That means data table object into the UiPath apps. So let us see now. So I I have an Excel a refer a refer names by location. So this Excel has a three columns so one is a what is a location and a state and reference name okay so these things we will display into the uh, app so let's go and read the data from that particular excel so we'll just use the read range read range activity read read range and this read range i'm just using the workbook read range activity to get the data this is a sheet one only I'm just removing that range so go to the properties and uh, create a one data table uh, instead of that so what we can do we can just create a one variable like out underscore so riff data table okay riff data table so let us go and create use the same output data table output data table. that's it simple one single uh, uh, activity let me publish this one so this is a name is a get ref name data table okay get ref names data table okay let us see so what is the issue here some issue is there um, which error it is okay what it is saying uh, one or more errors excel is there sheet name is there just gives this one yeah, here outrif data table outrif data table so what is outrif outrif data table create this as a output variable and this is a data table okay data table that's what the issue is actually that is a string but we converted it into the data table data table and output variable okay let me publish this one okay so what is the process name process name is a get ref name table uh, once it is a published into the orchestrator let's go to the orchestrator and create a process we we just published the a package from the ui path studio to the orchestrator packages panel but now the next step is a creating the process so once you create a process you can run that process from anywhere okay let's go to the process and click on the plus button here and select the ref get ref select the environment here click on the create now go to the apps so apps and create a new app brand new app okay so ref data table and in the ref data table so we'll just simply display the data okay nothing else simply this display the data by clicking the button suppose if i click on the button this button load ref data details load ref details I'm just giving the some icon something like that okay this load ref details so once we click on this role load ref details so we have to load the data tables here is in the display you have a table just drag and drop the table here this table we have to add so before that just click on the plus button and click on the process in the process you have to add the process which we just created the name called get ref name data table add this one and once you add this one so go to the table here bind this table okay just drag here bind this table once we bind the table okay the thing is we have to bind the columns also but the thing is here is the trick okay here is a, a tip okay for the all the people so we are not able to bind the column name uh, the, the names of the columns okay the column names it is not displaying the column names why it is not displaying the column names the trick here is we have to run our process at least one time from the orchestrator or you can uh, uh, run from the uh, a robot also here okay uh, you, your assistant so let us go to the jobs now you understand right here if I just click on this one, so it's not showing any column names. Actually, column names is there, but it is not showing the column names in the UiPath App Studio. 
why it's not showing the column names we have to run the process at least one time manually okay so because it is uh, this, this will let, let's run this one uh, same thing ref ref and select and click on the start okay so why we have to run this one so once we run this one it will log all the details in the jobs history so the ui path app studio will retrieve the column names from the app jobs history okay so let us try now okay let's go here it's not extracting now what we have to go to this process select the process and click on the refresh here refresh okay once we change something we have to click on the refresh and click on the parameters so result you will get this one so it has to show it has to show uh, all the uh, column names okay it is not showing so what i am just doing i'm just deleting this one add again adding in the process okay so add again the process i'm just adding the again the same process because it has a data table see one object data table is there and click on the refresh result see here all the three column names are displaying here see location state and reference let's go to the table and bind the table here bind the table expand see here now we are able to see the all the a column names a column names from the a data table okay column names with the location state and the reference name right we are we are able to uh, see now the, the location so first we have to bind the data table in the data source and go to the columns drag the each and every column click on the plus location state and click on the plus select reference name that's it okay so when it has to load once we click on the load reference details so button so click on the events and create a role the start process select the process this one and uh, you can select the unattended and when started if you want to show the a message like a loading ref data and if you want, once it is a completed the process is completed if you want to hide that one you can hide that one that's it simple click on the preview now it will show a data table okay initially there is no data see no data is there if we click on this one suppose if i click on this one so let's click on this load okay see the see the ui path assistant okay it will run the get ref names table process it will send the all the details from the excel to the ui path app now in the ui path app all the details see here we have excel we have excel here in our robot system and we have a uh, this one see we are able to retrieve the, all the details okay this is a small tip okay thank you very much so keep on watching my videos so we'll explore more in the ui path apps thank you thanks a uh, lot please subscribe if you're not yet subscribed